the black carpenter ant, known to scientists as Camponotus ponsylvanicus, is a common sight in North America. These ants are large and black, which makes them easy to spot. They are called carpenter ants because they build their nests in wood. Carpenter ants are social insects that live in colonies with a queen. The queen is the largest ant in the colony and her job is to lay eggs. Worker ants are smaller and do all the work like gathering food and building the nest. Black carpenter ants are an important part of the ecosystem. They help break down wood and are a food source for other animals. However, they can also be pests if they build their nests in our homes. Understanding their life cycle can help us live alongside these fascinating creatures. Like many ant species, Camponotus pensilvanicus reproduces through nuptial flights. These flights are a sight to behold with thousands of winged ants taking to the air to find a mate. Nuptial flights typically happen in late spring or early summer, generally between March and July. The exact timing depends on the weather. Warm, humid days are perfect for these flights. During these flights, winged males and females from different colonies mate in midair. After mating, the males die and the females land to, set, to start new colonies. The newly mated queens shed their wings and search for a suitable place to establish their nest. The black carpenter ant is found throughout North America, including several regions of Canada. They are especially common in the eastern and central parts of the country. Provinces like Ontario, Quebec, and New Brunswick are known to have large populations of Camponotus pensylvanicus. These ants thrive in areas with forests and woodlands where they can find suitable nesting sites. While less common in the western provinces, they can still be found in some areas of British Columbia and Alberta. The distribution of black carpenter ants in Canada showcases their adaptability to different environments. Once a queen establishes a new colony, she begins to lay eggs. These eggs hatch into larvae, which are fed and cared for by the queen. The larvae go through several stages of development before becoming pupae. After the pupal stage, they emerge as adult worker ants. The entire process, from egg to adult worker ant, can take anywhere from a few weeks to a few months. A colony takes several years to fully develop. A mature colony can contain thousands of workers and may have multiple satellite nests connected to the main colony. The success of the colony depends on the queen's ability to produce offspring and the worker's ability to gather resources. Section 5. Winter Lethargy. Hibernation. Like many insects, Camponotus pensylvanicus hibernates during the cold winter months. As temperatures drop, the colony retreats to the depths of its nest, where it remains inactive until spring. During hibernation, the ants' metabolism slows down, allowing them to conserve energy. They rely on stored food reserves to survive the winter. When spring arrives and temperatures rise, the colony becomes active again. Workers resume their tasks of foraging for food, tending to the brood, and maintaining the nest. The cycle of activity and hibernation allows black carpenter ants to survive in regions with harsh winters. Section 6. The Art of Ant Keeping Observing Camponotus pensylvanicus Black carpenter ants can be fascinating subjects for observation. Ant keeping, also known as marmecology, is an increasingly popular hobby that allows enthusiasts to study these insects up close. 
Setting up an ant farm with a colony of Camponotus pensylvanicus can provide insights into their behavior, social structure, and colony dynamics. It's important to provide them with a suitable environment, which includes a nesting area, a foraging area, and a source of moisture. Observing their feeding patterns, their communication methods, and their brood care routines can be both educational and entertaining. However, it's crucial to remember that ants are living creatures and should be treated with respect. Section 7. Role in the Ecosystem Black carpenter ants play a vital role in the ecosystem. As the composers, they contribute to the breakdown of dead wood, recycling nutrients back into the environment. Their nesting activities also help aerate the soil, improving its structure and drainage. Additionally, they serve as a food source for various predators, including birds, reptiles, and other insects. The intricate relationship between black carpenter ants and their surroundings highlights the interconnectedness of species within an ecosystem. Their presence contributes to the overall health and balance of the natural world. Section 8, Conservation Status and Threats. Currently, black carpenter ants are not considered a threatened species. Their adaptability and wide distribution have allowed them to thrive in various habitats. However, habitat loss due to deforestation and urbanization can negatively impact their populations. Additionally, pesticide use can harm these ants, disrupting their colonies and food sources, promoting responsible forestry practices, reducing pesticide use, and raising awareness about the importance of insect biodiversity are crucial steps in ensuring the long-term survival of these fascinating creatures.